Right then guys, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, what we've got today is an absolute piece of kit. Um, we've got a Vauxhall Astra VXR 470 brake and we're gonna take you along and uh, show you what's been done and uh, take you for a blast and uh, show you what I think of an Astra VXR that's been garroted. Um, most of you may know that I was contemplating stage three then selling it. Uh, this potentially could be dangerous and a deal breaker for me. So uh, yeah, let's uh, put you onto the owner and uh, show you what's basically been done. So let's get it. Here's Ben, the owner, um, with his absolute madness here. Um, just tell us a bit about it, like the power-wise and uh, what you've done to it. So, I bought it completely standard. All it had got was a Miltec exhaust, um, which is great because it meant it was a blank canvas and you know you sort of knew what was going to be done to it and was done right. Um, it's now a 474 horse, uh, 335 foot-pan torque. Uh, it's got a, one of the new Garrett G25 550 turbos on. Uh, Gen 5 uh, Turbo Smart external wastegate. Uh, it's had full engine rebuild, polished crank, uh, wedged the block, skimmed overboard, um, a set of cams. Uh, it's also got an external fuel pump uh, with a swirl pot set up, which I've had as the radium tank. Um, we've also got EDS replica inlet, MTC uh, intercooler. Uh, you know, your normal stuff, 1000 cc injectors, 90 mil math, um, boost gauges so I can see, uh, you know, boost, oil temp, water temp, oil pressure, and my AFRs just to make sure everything's running okay while I'm either driving normally or giving it a bit of depth. Um, and, and that's sort of an overall spec. Yeah. What uh, callovers and that do you run on it? They are a nice cheap pair of FK Pro Street something off eBay, uh, 170, 180 quid they were and they've, they've been on there now for around two or three years, not had any issues, um, I'd definitely buy them again if I, if I could. Yeah, I might actually get some now, to be honest the raw is pretty bang on to be fair. Yeah, it's not too soft, it's not too firm, um, it's a little bit firmer because I've got R&D, the solid R&D adjustable drop links and they're the lowest they'll oh, go, really? so it's a little bit firmer than what it was previously with the standard ones. Yeah. Uh, but it drives really well, handles really well. Um, the limited slip diff, I've got an M factory helical slip diff yeah. and uh, a white line rear anti roll bar which helps putting the power down and going around corners. Definitely. Mine's like a cat on a horse <laughs> ring, <It's> absolutely <laughs> horrendous. What tyres do you run? Uh, at the minute it's on its winter set of tyres still, which is Union Royal Range Bull 3s, uh, which have surprised me in, 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 the, uh, in the nice weather, they still put the power down quite nice. I'll probably go for a set of ADO 8Rs or R888Rs yeah. for when I go semi-slicks. Now we've got a bit of nice weather. Yeah, I know. It's probably better off having winter tyres, you know, because it's winter all year in England. Yeah, constantly raining. <laughs> That's madness. Uh, I think, uh, what's next? Now you've mentioned all the power, delivery, handling and all that. Show us what kind of styling mods you've gone for and maybe why, if that's all right. So I went for the CM Composites from Bumper, just purely because I, I think they look good. Yep. Uh, I've then 
also had the CM Composite splitter and the canards to go with it. Um, also with wheels going for the Border B ones, which are never quite common on the Astra VXRs, but ever since I had the car, that was the wheel I wanted, so yeah, I wasn't bothered how many other people had got it. Um, we've gone a bit further around the back, we've got the DNA rear lights. Yeah, um, I want them. <laughs> they look awesome. Uh, along with the black rear diffuser and the, the black boot strip. Yeah. Um, just because I think it just smartens the, the back end up and uh, just I think it just sets it off. Yeah. Um, good old stickers, Route 22 events. <laughs> they do uh, some, some good uh, car show days. I'm going to mention these as well. Johnny B's from Warsaw. I always take there to clean the car, they've ceramic coated it, spent a lot of work on it. Yeah. And then Raggy Conversions, if you look them up on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, yeah. they've done all my engine work mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and built most of the car, wouldn't take it anywhere else. You did say there was really competitive price and it really good price and that for what you've had done. Yeah, he works on his own. Yeah. So, you know, what he can offer you price wise for labour and things yeah. like that is gonna be a lot cheaper than what a, a proper garage like, for example, Quick Fit or somebody like that who's got a, a team of blokes yeah, to, yeah. to pay. Yeah. Um, I also went for the, going slightly back to the front, I went for the RS bonnet vents, yeah. uh, just purely because there's so much heat in the bay yeah. with the Norset manifold. Um, and that's about it for styling. You forgot about the brakes, you forgot about the sexy big K sports. Oh yeah, I suppose. Uh, we've got standard rears. Um, I'm looking to get some Vectra VXR rears, but they need the uh, adapters and Do things like that to, to actually fit the caliper and the carriers on and then the front brakes are the K-Sport 8 pots uh, 356 mil discs um, look at the size of them and they are accompanied by the Frodo DS 2500 pads yeah did you have the standard pads in to start off with no I've never ran the K-Sport pads because they didn't have very good reviews no. uh, so the recommendation was the Frodo DS 2500s yeah. or the Frodo who knows? I think it's what, yeah. one yeah. colon one or something yeah. like that, uh, which I might try next. But they're a lot more expensive than the twenty five hundred. Anyway, right then. I think it's uh, time for a spin, isn't it? It is. <laughs> See how much heat soak we get in this weather. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's probably the worst time to do a video, isn't it? With this heat. Thirty one degrees. Not fun. Let's go for it. <laughs> Not too bad to be fair. No. no. You get a bit, uh, but nothing where you think of, you know, you're gonna have no traction whatsoever. Yeah. Just for David's when he got onto lots of boost and that, he was lighting up in second gear a bit on. To be fair, my old setup on my, my GT28, that yeah. was the same, that was set up, yeah. Just write it off, it could just terrible. Is that because the spooling's not really aggressive, it's like nothing and then bang it comes in? The, the 28 was a lot better, it come on boost about 3-2, something like that, where this don't come on till 4, which yeah. I expected because it comes on much more. I thought the the traction would be worse, but it's it's not. <laughs> These corners are absolutely lovely, you know. Yeah, I feel like I feel less, than, less than 200 quid. So much better than mine. So it's got a hard, hard cut limiter on it, yeah? No. Is it not? No, it took off. Why? Oh, because you blew the last one on. <laughs>
Kenapa? <laughs>
second and because it's like he's absolutely tanged it in first second he's gonna when he changes it he's just gonna go mad yeah but i can't believe how well this like, handles the power it is absolutely obviously you got tires quality tires you got upgraded drop links you got the cheapo well we'll say cheapo suspension but i want it because it's absolutely sick um but you know when you said earlier normally if you buy cheap it's for a reason yeah and then when you get not coilovers that are this cheap you think do you know what i mean like, yeah i only bought them purely because it was a recommendation from somebody who ran them and i thought well for less than 200 quid let's have a go you get dapar springs for like 180 quid yeah. man and you get a full lot like, they're not adjustable lot like, they're adjustable but there's no lot like, dampening or anything like that on them is that uh, just your normal coilover so you can obviously adjust your ride height yeah. you know, there's, there's no adjustment in regards to like camber and things like that yeah um, but it's got all your usual things that uh, you'd expect a set of coilovers to have no oh, way right. oh we're going to a raceway
when you first did it before the, the island, the traction on one a bit, I think it's because the road was uneven. Yeah. Really. To be fair, it doesn't, I don't know whether it's just because of the power or the torque or whatever, but even sometimes when traction kicks in, yeah. it doesn't really Cut it. hold you back that much. Yeah. You used to on my old setup, on my 28, you could really feel it when it was when it was whinging about traction. Uh, but with this, it doesn't seem to, you know, you just get a little blip, yeah, and that's it. But in my eyes, that sometimes, is, you know, if you're trying to get up to a certain speed as quick as you can, that little blip is much better than spinning to your red line. Yeah, yeah. to work and that you're in traffic but yeah. at the point I've got an opportunity to put my foot down then I, I do have a little bit of a dabble. scaring more by dropping down a gear, making yeah. a bang, making more noise. Some little wind a little bit too. Yeah. 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 Oh, 
Yeah, it's only if I eat a bad pothole or something, it bottoms out. Usually it's, uh, what are they? You know, solid droppings like they do, so. Yeah, they're a little bit, you know, you pay 70 quid for them, I think they are. Yeah. I trust to drive it and that'll be my engine builder. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm happy to let somebody have a go, but I'll probably be shitting myself. Because there's nobody I know who's got this sort of power car who I know can handle, yeah. you know, nearly 400 horse. So it's a little bit scary. Especially when, you know, if, if they were insured on it or whatever, then it wouldn't matter because if something happened then you've got that to cover you. Yeah. Thank you so much to Ben for letting us uh, have the opportunity to take us out in the car. Um, it was an absolute blast. It's kind of changed my mind on front wheel drive cars. I used to think, why do people go 400 brake? 500 brake must be ridiculous. Um, I bet grip is horrendous, but the car grip like glue, it was absolutely crazy. Um, I might take out a couple of different cars, uh, just do a review on like a Fiesta ST Stage 3, Focus RS, um, and just see what they're like because if I don't feel as excited as I did as that Astra yesterday, because that Astra was unbelievable, like it made me think, do I go Garrett? That is a question. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to link it, Ben's Instagram down below, um, and I'm going to link all like the kind of mod list because I didn't want to go through absolutely everything with you because obviously the video would drag out forever. Hopefully it's not a long one. Hopefully it was a banger. Um, and if you thought so, maybe consider sharing, subscribe, and definitely like the video. So what we'll do, see you on the next one. The question is, do I go Garrett? Peace.